in five years, the average person will have 10 million sets of data in their own personal cloud they've got to access. How can you forecast and predict the future of what's going to happen? That's really where the opportunity is today. And that's where these startups can make a difference. How much of balance is there between the technology being at the cutting edge and, and the team or the company being at the point where they have a product to sell? Where, where is that you come in? Paolo, we look at growth stage companies, right? So I want to make sure that they are able to have some sales, that it's real, that they have some product market fit. Doesn't mean they have to have a lot, but they have to have something to prove the model works. And once they prove it and they have some product market fit, we can help them take it from there. Where are you observing the most relevant applications that maybe the general public doesn't know yet, but that you feel they're really happening right now in the next one to three years, four years? I'll paint the picture and then we can talk about it directly. But think about this. Look at today, just like things, uh, your email. How many different email addresses do people have? Five, seven, 10. Then you have Slack, you have GitHub, you have got all kinds of other repositories, Viber, right? Telegram. Look at the data sources. So imagine today, we're back at the beginning in 1993, 94. There are only 250,000 uh, websites on the uh, World Wide Web. The average person today has about 257 to 265 data points. Now imagine if you've got all this email, all these files, all these folders, how in the world do you know what's happening? So if somebody said, I sent you in Telegram two months ago, how in the world do you find it, right? How many times you say, you know that files exist, but I can't find it. Why? I've either forgotten the keywords or forgotten the location. And, and what do people say? I don't remember getting it because you've either forgotten or you don't want to act stupid like all of us, right? That we don't know where it is. So these kind of problems with massive amounts of data, my point is, Let's say we've got 257,000 data points ourselves we have to go through. That number, Paolo, is doubling every year. Every year, it's doubling. In five years, the average person will have 10 million sets of data in their own personal cloud they've got to access. How can you find things? So imagine, this is just one example. The reason is there's so much data coming at us we can't solve it. Look at driverless cars, right? We have so much data coming in. The reason we have these tools is so that we can understand what's happening with our car today. So it's the amount of data coming at us. So you're, you're saying, where is the opportunity? If it's in medicine, think about the medical data. Now they have assistants that can go down through and look at skin cancer and make a diagnosis It's better than if 23 doctors at Stanford actually looked at that a melanoma, they can, in a very few seconds, can make a decision. It's incredible. Our lives are changing. So where is it? Medicine, our own personal uh, information, enterprise B2B, there's just massive amounts of data. If you're a salesperson today, you got a crazy amount of data coming at you. How do you make decisions? More importantly, how can you forecast and predict the future of what's going to happen? That's really where the opportunity is today. And that's where these startups can make a difference.